everyone. So today's going to be our final tutorial on the styling of our timer. Um, what we're going to be doing is just finishing the styling of our solves list, which we started last week. And then the, in the next tutorial, we'll get started into the actual functionality of the timer. Cool. So first thing I want to do is I want to make this title here to be bold. So we can go here to our H7. Um, sorry, font weight, bold, save that, that looks good. And I want to get rid of the underline here because I just don't like how it looks really. Okay, you can delete that, save it. Cool, that looks a lot better. Um, so next thing I want to do is I want to make each of our solve numbers here. So the 15, 14, 13 down, I want to make them bold but I want the solve time associated with it just to be normal unbolded text. And I also want to increase the, um, the distance between the solve number and the solve time. So distance between here on each of, um, each of these solves. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put our solve times within a span element like this. Just going to delete all those. I'm going to copy these down. Save that. And you'll see when we reload this, nothing's really changed, okay? So I'll just give an example of um, why I put this span here. If I go um, back to our CSS and I styled the link to make the font weight to be bold We save that We see that our list number and our list time are in bold, which is not what I want I want this to be in bold, but I want our solve times to be in regular text So what the um what the span text allows the span element allows us to do is we can style this 9.99 um, solve time and it'll override the styling from our list. So it's going to um, basically override our, um, our font weight of bold. So if I, go, if I go select all the span elements within a list and I do the font weight to be normal, go, we can see here that our, our um, solve time is now normal unbolded texts and then it's overrided our um, our styling from our parent element, which is the um, the list element. So we have our span is a child element, our um, parent element is the list element. When we style the span, we're overriding the styling that we've done in the parent element. Is um the best I can explain that. <laughs> um, so another thing I want to do, yeah, increase the distance between the solve number and the solve time. And if you've watched the last few videos, you will know about position relative. So we can do position relative left 10 pixels, which will move our solve time to the right. And yeah, I think that's a good amount of space. One thing I want to check though, is if I increase the, um, the time here to let's say 10 minutes, 20 seconds, 99 milliseconds, we do that it's pretty close to um the solve time is pretty close to going into our scroll down bar so i want to increase the distance of the list so that we have a bit more space um over here so we can go back to our css and we can go back to um we can go back to where i'm looking for okay here we go so going back to our our ol class can increase the width and that'll increase the width of our list and cool yeah it'll move our scroll bar our scroll bar out which is good and I think that's just about all I wanted to do for the styling um, yeah I think it's all right I'm not the best style at styling but I think it's all right I mean <laughs> it could be worse um, so I'm gonna leave it here I think for the styling um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'll, I'll get back to you. And, um, 
yeah, next tutorial will be styling. We'll no, we'll start with um our actual functionality of the timer. So I'll catch you in the next one.